What's up, you two? Swim Jig Joe, and look what came a day early for me. If you've been staying up to date with my videos, I did the Lucky Tackle Box last week, and it sucked. Only way to put it. Terrible, terrible baits that were sent. A few doubles, different manufacturers, same size hooks, Riot, EWGs. Just, there was, there was a couple baits I was going to use, a couple baits that I don't think anybody will ever use and empty liquid mayhem check it out it's it's in my videos it's the august unboxing so i went ahead and because i was so disappointed i decided to try mystery tackle box this is the elite series box i've heard better things about this box but never got one before so thank you usps for jamming this into the mailbox instead of putting it where I could get it without having the whole crushed side of it, but hopefully it didn't damage anything. Let's uh, open this sucker up and see if Mystery Tackle Box is any better than Lucky Tackle Box. It's not, it's not gonna be a hard win for them. All right, right off the bat, I'm, I like it. Only because I can see some brand names that I'm familiar with and that I will definitely throw in the water comes with a little sticker it's pretty cool I will probably put that on my boat I like that a little reading fish and it even says Great Lakes I'm a Michigan guy so hey Great Lakes know all about that and in the mystery tackle box oh, it's, it's telling me to unfold here it comes with a little measuring situation that I'll never use just because it's cardboard and if it gets wet it's Oh, it's, uh, never mind, I'm sorry, this is the catch and win contest. One, catch a fish using one of the baits in the box. We'll definitely do that. We'll do a challenge video of it of some sort. Two, measure it using the ruler below to see if you have a keeper. And three, share a picture of your fish on Instagram using the hashtag MTBKeeper. I will definitely do that. If you guys are, uh, aren't following me on Instagram, check it out at SwimJigJoe. I'm always posting my tournament results, the fish I catch, and everything on there. I don't know why my phone keeps beeping, but oh, my cord, my cord is a piece of crap. It keeps connecting and disconnecting, so ignore that noise if you can hear it. So, let's start. We got the uh, they call it the Dibble Tips and Tricks from Mystery Tackle Box. It tells you about the contest on the back, how to stank your own baits, how to fish a French fry or centipede. So it's giving you different tips and tricks on how to fish what I'm guessing is inside this box but enough of that you guys can order it check that out if you want let's dig in um, start I'll go down the list of the what's inside your box hey one thing lucky tackle box didn't have first off we have a lipless crankbait by live target this is something I will definitely throw I even like the color of it it's got a little they call it a thread fin shad color. Uh, live target plays a small role in my arsenal, but I do throw them quite a bit. This is a larger than normal whipless than what I normally throw, but uh, one of the oh boy, one of the inland lakes that I fish quite often has a lot of big smallmouth and largemouth on it. So this will definitely be something more of a spring bait for me, but I believe you can also knock them out in the fall with this sucker when they're feeding up so already better than better than lucky tackle box mystery tackle box to me is winning uh number two it's called it's stanford baits a boom boom frog now okay here's the boom boom frog now i don't know if you can see this and i don't know what the purpose of it is we'll figure that out it looks like it's got like a little velcro on the top and it says, uh, frog fur allows for a longer fish holding bite. Faster collapsing body, better hookup ratio. New weight design allows for fast hook penetration. Fish fooling bait fish eye and gill design. Fierce, boom, boom, approved. 3 eighths boom, boom, frog. 65 pound braid line re recommended. I don't know if that felt is what they're considering the frog fur that allows for a longer fish holding bite. I don't know. I don't know why that would make them hold on to the bait longer, but 
I don't know. I'm gonna open it up real quick, take a look at it a little closer. Because this has definitely got my attention. I'm not a huge frog fisherman, but there is a time and a place for it, that's for sure. And it's really weird. It's just a little little Velcro's pad. You got a little some frog with teeth right there. I don't know. I don't know if I'd want to eat them. Oh, and then the bottom side, it's got an eye. I don't know if it was supposed to have an eye on this side. Probably, but I don't know why that would matter since that's going to be up and that's going to be down. So this is actually going to double it in, in my eyes. This is going to look like it's going to walk the dog like a frog, like a normal frog would. And trim off a little on the one side to encourage a little walk the dog. But from the fish's perspective, he's going to see the eye and it's going to look more of like a uh, a dying bait fish. That's, that's neat. I will throw that. I'll, I will definitely have that in an upcoming video to show you guys the uh, the ins and outs of that bad boy. Okay, so next it says the uh, hoax fish. That's the brand name. It is a scam shad. I don't know if you can see them in here, but I'm gonna open them up for anyways. And this is this is interesting. So I I ha I don't know I don't know I don't know what how to rig this how to fish this probably a Texas rig kind of deal or a Carolina rig or something or maybe just a, you fish like a swim bait I don't know this is very different to me I don't even know what category you'd put this in it's called a scam shad in candy grass color but that is uh, that's unique that's different that, unique and different can be all that it takes to uh, provoke that fish to bite so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to read up on that a little bit and figure out what which way they want or which way they intend for that thing to be rigged. It says, uh, a skillful act intended to outwit or mystify fish into believing something is real when it's not. Our baits have the proper size, action, and profile that screams, easy meal. These things are critical to invite the bite. Well, this is definitely something I'm going to have to read up on and figure out how exactly they want it to be rigged. I guess there's no rules in fishing. You can rig it however you want. But there's got to be a certain way that they intended on when they engineered it. Uh, next is the X-Zone Lures Muscle Back Crawl. All right, now this, this is definitely something I will fish. It's even the color I like. Green Pumpkin Black Flake. Flake, fleck, I don't know what, what you want to call it. Doesn't really matter. It's a floating crawl. Now, okay, that, that makes me even more excited. This is something I would definitely throw probably on a jig. And uh, it looks like it's got the, the paddle crawl, so as you're pulling it, it's, it's gonna swim, similar to like a rage crawl. Um, but the fact that it floats, what that's gonna do when you put it on a jig, that's gonna put that crawl in that defense position to make it look like it's trying to defend itself as the bass um, gets ready to devour it. So that is definitely, you will definitely see me throw this. I'm, I'm excited. Mystery Tackle Box. You're blowing Lucky Tackle Box out of the water. Jeez, I love it. So far, everything is awesome. The Hope Fish, these things, I, I'm excited because it's new, it's different, and on the day I'm practicing, I'll definitely throw that. But man, it's knocking it out of the park so far for me. I love it. All right. And with the crawls, you could Texas rig these, you could put them on a jig. I'm a huge jig fisherman, hence the name Swim Jig Joe. Although I don't really fish a swim jig a lot. Every once in a while, but I'm more of a off the bottom kind of jig guy. But hey, to each their own. It just flows, Swim Jig Joe, you know? I couldn't call myself bottom bouncing Jig Joe. It, didn't, it wouldn't work. Uh, but anyways, next is the dual hardcore crank. This is another crank that I will definitely use. It's in a red craw color and uh, this is it looks like it comes in from the Japanese market and it says it has a new magnet weight transfer system it's international patent so you should be able to cast this sucker a mile so basically what that means is it's got a a mechanism inside of it that as you cast forward those weights are going to slide to the back of the bait being basically like a, an arrowhead that's guiding the, the bait towards the water, which in theory should make you cast further. Now this is not exactly a square bill, it's more of a round bill 
which is just going to change the action a little bit. And uh, but it, sh it looks like it's going to dive about the same as a a square bill. It doesn't tell me a diving depth on here that I can see yet. Oops. Which is kind of vital, but it's definitely going to be a shallow depth is three and a half feet. So that's perfect. That's going to be that is going to be light out in the spring. Absolutely light out when they're on when they're pre-staging on the flats and the shallows. I guarantee you, next spring, even maybe this fall, this will have just gouge marks in it. I will. I'll, I'll put hundreds of fish in the boat with this crank until that stupid pike bites it off because that happens. All right. So again, another bait that I'm going to use. I, I I love it. I feel like my money was spent in in a good place this time. So. Another one, next up, another bait that I will use, and it's in a good color too. Mystery Tackle Box, I'm probably going to keep my subscription with you. A black and blue Chatterbait by Z-Man. This is the Freedom. I don't think I have a Freedom. I, I like the jackhammers, mostly, that Z-Man make. But this is great. I have a lot of... Oh, I do have some Freedoms. I'm sorry. The Freedom is the one... Is the, uh, the 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 chatterbait that has the swinging head that has a that has a swivel head. Black and blue, always good. I haven't had much luck with a chatterbait on clear water. I usually throw a swim jig on clear water and a chatterbait in dirty water. So again, another beautiful color on a beautiful bait. This will definitely be going into my arsenal. It's got an offset shank on this sucker too, so you can basically. I like the offset shanks on the back. You can put anything you want on here. It doesn't have to be just a swim bait. So again, another bait I will absolutely use. And then last but not least, something you can put on the back of that cheddar bait. It doesn't really match in colors, but who doesn't love rage tails? This is 90% of what I throw as a trailer. Not the twin tail grub that this thing is, but uh, Rage baits, that's 90% of what goes on all my jig trailers. Another knockout color, green pumpkin, black fleck for me anyways. Everybody, I'm sure you're familiar with Rage Tails. If not, pick some of these up. You will catch more fish without a doubt. I don't care how you rig them, what you do with them. You can throw these things into a puddle on the side of the road and probably pull a bass out of them. They are just amazing. Strike King is, they, they knocked it out of the park with this thing. So. That's it for the box though. I'm, I love it. I love it. My review of the, the Mystery Tackle Box for August. This thing was worth my money. Lucky Tackle Box stole my money, I feel like, and tried to make it up, and they're still struggling to do that. Oh, we're sorry, we'll send you an extra bait. I, I, don't, I don't want another tube of, of your liquid mayhem. I don't use the crap anyways. Send me the box that I was supposed to get. I'm watching the YouTube channels. I'm watching the unboxings. 90% of you guys got awesome boxes, or at least stuff I would have used. I got garbage. Absolute garbage. Cancel that membership as fast as I could. The mystery, I'm probably going to hang on to. I guess there is one more thing. There is a scratch and win card. Log on to mysterytacklebox.com slash shop. Add your favorite items to the card. Minimum purchase of $10. Enter code at the, at the checkout in the coupon code area. So I don't know if this is an automatic winner or how that works. Let's scratch it. Let's see what I want. Oh, I want something for free shipping. All right. Now I've never been on. I've never been on uh, Carl's Bait and Tackle Shop to see what exactly they have to offer. But hey, I'm definitely going to check it out now if I'm going to get free shipping. Who doesn't love free shipping? Definitely. Check it out. And uh, I, like I said, I'm impressed with this box. I will use the things in this box. You will see on my upcoming videos me catching fish on at every one of these baits. The hoax fish, man, I'm anxious to see what the heck this is up with this. I'm going to go through this and see how they want me to rig this. But yeah, the live target whipless, the frog, the twin tail grubs, the crawls, those. I got a tournament this Saturday. I will be dragging one of these behind the boat a little bit, or at least on the bottom. The chatterbait, I'm in clear water, I probably won't use it this weekend. 
I may even throw the crawl. It depends on what the bite's going, what the bite's like, and where the fish are at. They're, they're, it's been hot, it's been warm, it's been stable. Last tournament I fished in, we didn't do so good. We found out why it's called fishing and not catching. So hopefully this weekend's a little bit different, but we won't know until we get there. But uh, check me out. I will be posting that video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you can see what's coming up next when I release it. I've got a couple review videos coming out. I had a company contact me that wants me to do some product reviews for them. So those will be coming up soon. Um, and I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. I have a ton of fun doing these review videos for you. I want to get out on the water a little bit more and I'm thinking about doing more of a tutorial situation with a few baits. So if you have any questions or comments or anything you'd like to see me review, try, show you how to use, please drop a comment below. I'll do everything I can for you. It gives me motivation to get out on the water and I'm learning more while I'm out there on the water and I'm giving you guys what you want to see. So do that for me and uh, we'll hit you up next time with the next review. Check it out. All right, guys. See you.